Hi guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here, and it's time to get into some real talk today. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you get the notifications when we go live or post new videos. So before I get into my real talk today, my friend just messaged me. Uh, apparently, she left something out front, and I haven't been out there yet to check it. Um, so, are you coming inside? What are you doing? Living your best life. All right. <clears throat> Goat's mad. Frankie's feeding the goat. So let's take a little walk out here. She said she left it out front by the lamppost. Let's see. By the light, she said, more specifically. Oh! How did I miss that walking out the door? How cute! I didn't even see it. Adorable. She got me a little flamingo thing because she knows that I love it. So thank you, Michelle. My friend Michelle. She um she's also does my massage therapy. And uh we were both bummed out this week because now with part of our real talk with California being shut back down again, um I can't get my therapy massages, which are part of what helps me function. And right now my back is hanging on by a thread. Um I did spend an entire week in bed and I'm still, I'm up and mobile, but my pain level is at like a solid seven. And I'm normally at like a, a two or three most of the time. Um, so a seven has been a lot lately. And I was at like a, like a 10 for your back going out. So, but this was sweet. She knew I was bummed out. She knew I was, she knew I was uh, hurting a little bit. So that was sweet of her to leave that for me. So to go go thank her for that but in the meantime let's go have some real talk so what else right I mean really what else can we have happen now um, I, I think we're just going through the gamut of, of everything um, <laughs> But here we are and, you know, I realize that there's probably some of you that are in California that watch our channel. And I realize there's also a lot of you that are not in California that watch our channel. Um, all three of you. Here's my thing. Um, we're in California and we were one of the first places to lock down from my understanding of things. Don't trip and fall and die. Okay, here we go. It's pretty up here. California was one of the first places to go into quarantine, full lockdown, only essential businesses, all of that. Now I can't speak for all of California, and I certainly can't speak for, you know, even our entire uh, counties in our area. Um, I can speak for our little town here, and I can say that as much of, of us in this little town um, don't agree with a lot of things that are going on in the world, politically currently um, and I don't here, here's the thing guys I don't like to get political on our channel okay I'm just a person I don't have a degree in political science I'm just a person who votes okay just like the rest of you um, my opinion doesn't count any more than anybody else's out there it just doesn't you know I'm not special okay the way that I make my voice count is by voting, which I encourage you all to do. Um, but, and I don't normally get political out here. I, I really, I, I always kind of feel like, you know, oh, you're gonna make somebody mad or you're gonna piss them off or, you know, it's, it's, it's not my place to say anything. But today with my real talk, there might be just a skosh, a, a dash, a sousson, if you will, of politics. So if you're gonna get easily freaked out or offended, maybe don't watch, there it is. Okay, so that being said, I love this country. I adore this country. I can't imagine not living in this country. I love living in California. I was born here. I have never lived anywhere else. It's a beautiful place to live. We have an amazing, collection of weirdos that live in California and I love that. I love the diversity. I love the different foods and 
the cultures that we have that I grew up with that it's just very normal to me now I realize in you know podunk Nebraska that they've maybe never had real Mexican food and they don't like it's not normal to them or they you know they don't have an Indian restaurant down the street or like I get it like certain cultures might seem strange or weird or different to you and that's scary and okay I get it but California is a big old giant melting pot it, it has been the entire time I've grown up and lived here it was just this is just the way it was it, I never thought anything weird about it until recently and I realized that I was very hashtag blessed I guess to grow up in a place where there was such a nice mix of different kinds of people with different ideas and different thoughts and different outlooks on things and different backgrounds and how cool is that you know and now that I'm older and I've lived longer and I watch the news more than when I was a kid um, and with so much going on right now in the world um, you know I can see how in different places people face different uh, challenges different adversities different um, you know they come up against different walls that you're not going to see as much here because we are so diverse in California. That being said, California is also a really weird place because we have a very, a few very, very, very liberal cities that are very highly populated and I bet you can guess which ones I'm referring to. Now, I don't really like living in the city, which is why I moved far away from a major city and why we live out here. Um, people that tend to do that, people that like to farm and homestead and live off by themselves more and rely on their neighbor type of mentality, um, we tend to not like big government and we tend to not like being told what to do and we tend to like our freedoms, <laughs> right? So being out here in California in a small, ish little mountain town here um, outside enough from the city that you know a lot of the trappings of that don't really happen up here right um, I don't like the way things are going I don't like that we are being shut down again when there's not a lot of evidence to support it um, I have a lot of friends that are considered non-essential <laughs> Um, that are single moms, that are business owners, that are hardworking people who immigrated here legally and, and have worked very hard to get to where they are and are now having to pack up shop again. We were allowed to open. We've been told we have to shut down again by the powers that be, by the governor. This isn't a matter of whether or not I agree with the actions being taken, okay? That's not my point here. I'm not gonna get into the arguments of wear a mask, don't wear a mask, uh, you know, all of this. The bottom line is, <clears throat> if this thing isn't gonna go away, which it's not, we can't hide in our houses and then force a whole new group of people to now become homeless because they don't have jobs and can't get a new job and their skill set, what they're licensed in, is now non-essential and they can't work. So I'm pissed off for them. I'm pissed off for my state, for my country that we're in this position, number one. Number two, that Yes, I realize there are some people out there that think the whole thing's a hoax and this, you know, and, you know, no. Do I think COVID exists? Yes, I do. Do I think that the media has definitely let us concentrate on what they want us to concentrate on when they want us to concentrate on it? Yeah. So, you know, bottom line is, <laughs> we have to be allowed to live our lives. If you decide to hunker down in your house for the next two years until there's a vaccine um, that's been safely tested and all of that, which actually would be longer than, than the two years, that would be extremely accelerated. 
But if, if you plan to do that, that's fine. That's your right. Maybe you're high risk. Maybe you're asthmatic. Maybe you're diabetic. Maybe you're, you know, immunocompromised. Wh whatever it is, whatever your reasoning is, I support you in that. What I don't support, because I live in America, is being told that I can't do things that are well within the parameters of the law. And being told that I have to stay in my home. Being told that I can't see friends and family. Being told that I can't attend functions. I, I can tell you, it's taking its toll on me, not only physically, but mentally right now. And having to be locked up, locked up, having to watch my friends now panic because trying to get on the list for unemployment again, trying to figure out what they're gonna do um, is sad. But it's more than that, it makes me angry. And I don't like the direction things are going. I don't like what I see happening. Um, I don't like the fact that because one person is scared, hundreds of thousands of people have to be locked up in their houses. Doesn't make sense. That's not how this country works. Not for a long period of time like that. It doesn't. That's not how this whole thing was designed. Like I said, I'm not debating the fact that this exists. I'm not debating the fact that certain precautions should be taken. But there are certain freedoms that shouldn't be taken away and certain liberties that should not be impeded when you have not broken any laws, when you have not done anything uh, wrong, <laughs> there's a certain amount of, you know, risk involved in living. You know, when Frankie was little, if she dropped her, you know, her pacifier on the floor, gave it a quick wipe and handed it back to her. Let her build up that immune system, a little dirt isn't gonna hurt. And then I had friends that when their kids dropped their pacifier, they were like, oh my God, we gotta sterile it, start the dishwasher, boil water, like, oh my God, get the sanitizer. And I'm like, and as a result, I can tell you, Frankie was hardly ever sick. And those kids were sick a lot. Now granted, there's other factors, I get that. I'm just using it as an example. If you, lock yourself up in your house and are afraid of your own shadow you are going to like drive yourself mad and I don't want to be driven mad along with you I, I can't even like it's literally making my head explode literally making me crazy that I am now being told that my friends have to be out of business. My friends have to be out of work. I have to stay in my house. I'm only allowed to go to the grocery store. But I can go through the drive-thru at Wendy's. But I can go through McDonald's. But I can't go to a little mom and pop place in town because they've had to close because they can't afford to keep up with the current times and they already had to take a hit and they can't reopen and it's 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 sad there's a lot of people that are in that situation right now so that's my rant guys i you know i don't really know what else to say other than i'm really sad right now because i thought we were making some progress i thought okay fine they can't i really didn't think they were going to take it away again and if they did i thought it was going to be a lot closer to the fall if you know what i mean but um, I didn't think it would be so quick. Um, so here we are back in lockdown. Uh, you know, I, I'm already hearing rumblings of protesting this uh, in California because people are fed up. You know, a lot of people haven't even gotten their unemployment from the first round yet. Um, and yeah, so, and like I said, I don't like to get political. I'm not a conspiracy theorist or anything like that, but I do like to gather data from different places and research things. And all I can tell you is I'm not buying all of what they're selling. And 
I'm, I've never been more glad that I'm in a smaller town. A group of people that genuinely care about each other and check on each other and take care of each other. And that I have my little farm because it, it's keeping me grounded right now. Honestly, I think it's the only thing right now that's really helping keep me grounded because, you know, everything's so bizarre right now. So anyway, so yeah, so we're back on lockdown. We're back in jail here in California and it's a bummer and I hate it, <laughs> um, but it's where we are. So I want you guys, those of you that are living your best life and enjoying some freedom in some other states um, where probably your favorite color is red. <laughs> uh, keep a good thought for those of us that are that are wedged out here in California a bit um, and you know hope that something good comes out of this or that we get you know <laughs> that we get an early release just like all the prisoners are getting right now. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice if the people got an early release? Anyway there it is guys don't beat me up too bad in the comments um like i said i don't generally get political publicly i usually will only have political debates with somebody face to face because i think it gets lost in translation sometimes when you try to do it you know on facebook posts or rants like that um so hopefully with my pain le level being what it is right now hopefully i was still able to communicate my thoughts well enough that they didn't come out too jarbled but I, I will admit I'm struggling with that right now um, so anyway there it is guys keep a good thought for us <laughs> uh, don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get the notifications